Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a very budget set of darts. I'm going to start doing a little section on budget darts, just darts that you can buy for under 30 quid. I'm going to start a wee section on that. And today we're going to be doing the One Mow Navigator 3s from Argos. And these darts are £14. Yes, £14. So before we do a little close up and then have a throw and do a review, as you can see, got a new t-shirt on, just got it yesterday, got it from Amazon. It's from a guy called Darting Inc. You can find him on Twitter, you can find him on his Amazon page. I'll put a wee link in cracking t-shirt. Everybody knows what that says. It's when Mardo's little little slogan. I can't speak. I can't speak. So, as you know, it's from the, the leg of darts recently between Michael Van Gerwen and Michael Smith when the two of them were on nine darters. They're both on nines. They're both on nines. So, I'll talk a little bit about this at the end of the video. Put a link up if you want to buy one where you can get it from. But at the moment, let's focus on Navigator 3s. Get them over to the table. Get them on. Quick look at them. Quick throw. And do the ratings. This is a box you get the navigators in. As I said, got them from Argos at a fantastic price of £14. They're on special offer at the moment. Don't know how long that offer will last. But at £14, I said, I said I'd actually, you can't go wrong. They come with, as most darts come with, that tells you it's a tungsten dart barrel. The barrel is length of 50.8 and a width of 6.4. They're 23 grams. The manufacturer's one you guarantee with them. You get inside it two sets of flights and two sets of shafts, and you also get shaft springs. So the box, just a basic little one box. Tell me just 23 grams, match weighted, 90% tungsten, prism IO shafts, and prism alpha flights. A little information why one is number one. Performance, precision and passion. Navigator 3. Extras included. The Navigator 3 dart features precision engineered state of the art profiling technology to provide the best level of grip for the ultimate scoring potential. A little warning just to tell you that it's an adult sport. Don't leave children unsupervised with darts but everybody should know that anyway. Just a little bit of information about the websites. So let's get it moment. Unlike other sets of darts that I've reviewed, I've actually had a throw with these and they're actually okay. So you've got a little plastic case, that's all I can say it is. Windmill's website on it, Windmill England, the little British flag. You open it up and there you go. Now remember, these are £14. Pounds. They're not £100, pounds, they're not £50, pounds, they're £14, pounds, so we'll judge it on that. So, and here you've got three red flights you've got three stems which I don't need to take out I'll take one out let you see it just standard prism stem you've got the three barrels which we'll take out you've got a pack of springs and there is one, two, three, four, five, six seven springs in there why seven? I don't know six maybe but no seven but not complaining seven springs your extra set of flights, which is probably the standard flights that come with a dart. Actually, very nice flights. But what we want to see is a barrel. So, lovely wee point protector. Take one out. So, first of all, you've got a black point, which I really like. I don't like silver points. I like black points. I like gold points. I do like the new target silver points because they're stainless 
and they grip the board really well. So, a little close look at the barrel. You can see it's a very basic dart. On first impressions, it's quite a long dart. It's got what I would say would be a medium stem. A little prism logo. We'll take the stem off. We'll get it close up. So, looking at that, you'll see it's a basic flat straight cut groove no tapers no angles no nothing and it comes from the ball nose at the front up to about four fifths of the barrel then you've got the one more lasered etched logo which is kind of flat and then you've got three grooves on the back which i've got a black coating on them just to give it that extra little wee bit of extra look on it but grip level is actually no bad but it is, I'd say it's probably about a two and a half. It's 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 comfortable. It's just a straight barrel dart. But at fourteen pounds, if you're thinking about just getting a set of darts to try different shapes, you can't beat this. And it's one more, so it's good quality. Your point length is twenty six point seven, so it's just a twenty six millimeter point. Length fifty one millimeters, six point four millimeters diameter. I'm going to show you the length that the grooves go up to. I'm going to just stop at about there and say it's about thirty nine point three, but say thirty nine millimeters of that barrel where you get all the grooves. Thirty nine millimeters, then you get a tiny little bit a smooth barrel, which. I know used rear grippers are going to be affected with that. It's four millimetres long. So it's if you're gripping at the rear, you, you've still got that groove there, but it's not a very good grip on that groove. So you may have to put like stems on it that's got a bit of grip on it. I'll fit the prism stem back on this just to see the actual length with that stem on it, the overall dart. It's, it's going to be quite a long dart. I can get this to work. There you go. It's 126, 26.3, and that's with the flight on it, so it's a long dart. I know most people would probably just adjust the stem to shoot, and it, it kind of keeps saying that's 14 pounds for a set of darts. 14 pounds. It's cracking value for money. So, what we'll do is we'll take the stems off the other two barrels. And we'll get them weighed just to see and at, at 14 pounds I'm not expecting them to be within 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 because they're only 14 pounds and a budget dart first one 23.08 23.05 so they're 0 0.03 yeah difference uh, I've recently done darts at 60 to 70 pounds and up to 100 pounds that are not as closely matched as these three so that's actually quite surprising it's actually very very good so well done to Winma for that it's a actually a really decent set of darts so we'll stick a flight on let you see what it's like set up now if you know my reviewers you'll know I'm rubbish at putting flights on but fooled you this time so there you go it's a nice looking dart just a straight barrel dart that goes through the air really really well hopefully I have had a practice with them and I, I thought they were okay but when we go to the throwing section I'm going to be doing the voiceover for the throne section because I've got a new scolia and I'm going to be using that and then I'll just voice over it once I'm doing the putting the video together so guys nothing else for me to do but get it over the board give it a throw then do a rating on it but so far for 14 pounds go out and buy these it's <laughs> it's a bargain
On to the throne section, as you can see, it'll be the normal 20s and 19s and then the bull. But these darts, I can't say enough, £14, they feel really good. The grip is, it's a reasonable grip, I'd say, in the hand, it's maybe about a two and a half. It feels okay, it's not slipping. It takes, they're a bit slim and a bit long for me, they're not my normal type of darts. Well, let you watch the throwing section here, and then after the music's finished and the throwing section's finished, we'll be putting a bit of the, we'll be doing the scolia challenge, and we'll talk about more about the scolia in the next section. So this is a new section added to the videos. I'll be doing different camera angles, just trying to get it right. But this is a 201 Scolia challenge. It's a new Scolia that I got recently. This was purchased from St. Helens Dart Shop. Uh, as it says, it's in St. Helens. I'll put a wee link for that at the end of this video. And again, I'll put it in the comments. So this is just something I'm going to do to check, test the darts, see how good I am with them. And I'll be doing a little leaderboard with them. So... Two forty-fives in a row. I've only got a one, one, one left. I've got a little video in the corner for you to watch. Double five. Don't know how I ended up with double five. Then went for a treble seventeen. Had the single. Then went for the twenties. Got a single twenty. So now I need treble sixteen and double eight, as you can see on the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the coordinates map that tells you exactly where the dart lands. So I had the single sixteen followed by another single sixteen. And then I missed the double. So, if you're interested in getting a scolia, this is really good for helping you focus. Tells you there, double 16. First dart, right in the middle. Game over. So guys, I'm going to show you now a wee bit about the stats you get with the scolia after you've finished each game. On the right hand side you'll see a little heat map that tells you where your darts have landed. On the left it tells you how many darts, how many doubles, how many scores over 100, over 80, over 60. And you also get a little bit for the coordinates, it tells you pinpoint accuracy where your darts landed. And below it shows you a graph of how your score goes. So guys, hope you enjoyed that new section, it'll be in every video from now on. <laughs> was the review for the Lingmau Navigator 3 darts. As you can see, throwing section was pretty decent. It's a £14 dart. That's what you've got to remember. And I was getting as good a results for that as I was getting my £55, £60 set of darts. So, the grip rating, I'm going to give this a grip rating of two and a half front, middle and rear because the grip rating is the same all the way back. There is a slight bit of a 
clear back a flat grip and uh, towards the rear bit, it doesn't affect your grip for the rear, I had a go with it. You get extra stems, extra flights, these are available from Argos right now for £14. I wouldn't hesitate, I'd just go and get them, they're a cracking, if you like a straight barrel, you're going to really enjoy them. Value for money on this dart, it's a 10 out of 10, it's £14, it's a 10 out of 10 all day long. Overall rating, as it's a straight barrel, there's not much work in there, it's just very basic. The points, it's a good point, it's in the dart, it's a black, a smooth point, grips the board really well. Me personally, I would shorten the barrel, the, the stem, go to a shorter stem because the barrel's long. But overall rating of these is a 6 out of 10. I would not hesitate to buy these. Anything above 5, I would buy anything below 5. I wouldn't buy, that's what I've said before. So guys, thanks very much for watching my review. If you like the t-shirt I've got on, as I said, I'll put a wee link at the end of the video. It's they're on Amazon. The guy's on Twitter, it's called Darting Inc. He's got lots of different stuff. I'll put a wee screenshot of his site. I'll put the web address on him. If you like the t-shirts, give it a wee buy. He's a local supplier of t-shirts in the Glasgow area. So it's always good to help out local people. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Most importantly, keep enjoying your darts. And I'll catch you on the next review.